Hi, it's Dr. Lizzie here. I've just set up a little cage to show you all what you need for your head tilt rolly bunnies. This little guy has a head tilt and has been rolling a lot at home and he's in today for a checkup. There are three different ways that you balance. One is what's in your brain and in your ear. The balance part of your brain and your ear called the vestibular system, which tells you which way is up. For Ponyo, he's just done a beautiful flip and got himself back upright again. The second way that you balance is what you can see, and the third is what you can feel. Now for this little guy, he's lost or damaged at least some of what's going on in his inner ear and his brain. He can't find the right way up in his brain and that's confusing everything else. Because he's got his head on the side, he can't use his vision as easily as he normally would. And he's having to relearn to compensate with his vision and what he can feel so that he can balance. He's just trying to wash his face there and he's gonna stumble and fall as he does it. But he's got a lean on the towel and he's coping really, really well. You can see that the cage is small and small enough that he can't get lost or stuck anywhere. I've put rolled up towels all the way around the edge. They're easy to wash and it means that if he does a sudden roll over, he's not gonna crash into something that's not padded. Down on the ground, I've got something called vet bed. Vet bed's really lovely and soft. This is a brand new piece, so it's nice and, nice and thick and fluffy. It wicks, which means that if this little guy does a wee, it very quickly wicks away underneath. The key is that you need something absorbent underneath the bed bed. So you never use it by itself. Underneath you put something like a towel or a piece of newspaper, a pile of newspaper, and you need to clean it, change it regularly. Goes through the wash really super easy and dries really fast. Ponyo is going to find it difficult to get in and out of a litter tray. And that means that we've put the hay and the food somewhere really easy access for him on the ground. He's got a pile of hay and some greens and he's just going to do a flip. And you can see that it's nice and soft where he is. And if he crashes into the wall, he's not going to hurt himself. Water and things like that is something that you can, you can use once they're getting a little bit more stable. At the moment, unfortunately, he's gonna crash into a water bowl pretty easily. And so you have to judge it based on an individual and how they're coping, whether or not you put water in. If you're not putting a bowl of water in, it's very, very important to do things like wetting the veggies so that they get water that way and to syringe very carefully water in. You wanna be slow enough that they're lapping it. And I'll show you, Bunny, see if Ponyo will, will do a little lap of some food for us in a moment. That was a little roll and a flip, but he's still pretty comfy and he's got back up on his feet, so that's really great. Even if they're rolly, you can still often offer them a little bit of critical care. And you can see that he's straight into it. He's lapping and he's taking that really happily. I'm just really gently steadying him, but actually he's pretty happy just sitting there by himself and he just wants to keep on eating. Look at that little tongue. They'll stop eating when they're full. So it's okay to keep going. And some bunnies can take 25 or even 30 mils of critical care at a time. They'll get some fluids from the critical care as well. When I've finished feeding him, I'll make sure I give his mouth a little clean because it's gonna be really hard for him to clean himself at the moment. He can't balance on his hind legs to wash his face. But he's really enjoying this critical care. And even though he's dining upside down, that's okay. These guys take their own time to get back the right way up. Bunnies with balance problems can often learn to rewire their brains. Brains are amazing. And they just need the time and the patience to be able to get to the point where they can get themselves upright and balancing. It can be really hard and really distressing watching these guys at home. But you can see with this little guy, we've set his cage up beautifully and he's coping really well. He's eaten, he's trying to wash himself, he's trying to have a balance. And if he falls over, that's okay because we've put him somewhere that's really safe. 
The next step after this is going to be a bit harder. As he gets a little bit more stable, we're going to need to leave, give him more room to run around because the only way that his brain is going to rewire and remember which way is up is by trying things out, by learning and developing new neural pathways. And you have to do that over and over again. Think about the toddler falling over and falling over, but continuing to get up and learn to walk.